Well, I think we're slowly getting better at some things. Um, are we where we need to be? No, not even close. I mean, but we are slowly improving. And, um, you know, you take it a game at a time. And uh, UW Marathon has a fantastic coaching staff. Um, Bill does a great job with them. They play hard. They play together. Um, we know that it's always going to be a great game with them. And, you know, we started out quickly. Um, we got some turnovers right away and kind of got up on them a little bit. But um, I wasn't very happy with our second half. I thought they outplayed us in the entire second half. But, you know, it, uh, it's little by little. We've got to keep getting better. I don't care what the score is. Um, we just got to keep getting better at some things. You know, so are we there yet? No, not even close. Talk about the addition uh, these last few games of Jack Jelasic. Obviously, he went out there tonight, uh, led the team in scoring, knocked down a couple threes. He's a big guy, another big body for you to add into the lineup. Just, just talk about how nice it is to just add another piece to that puzzle. Well, Jack's a kid that played at Dominican on all our state championship teams, and, and he can play, but he's dealing with an injury. It's why he didn't play the whole first semester. Um, and as you can see, he's not in game shape yet. He gets tired pretty quickly. Um, but he adds a dimension. I mean, he's another 6'7 kid that can run the floor. He shot the three really well at Dominican, and you started to see it a little bit tonight. Um, he's played just a little bit the last two games, and I don't think he scored in the first one. I think he had one point in the second one. So it was very pleasant um, to see him come out and knock down some shots and start to play a little bit um, like I know he can. You know, so got to get him in shape, got to get him in game shape, and um, he'll do some nice things. Rock Valley, as I uh, alluded to in the first question, defending national champ, top-ranked team. Uh, just, just talk about that matchup a little bit and what you expect to see, other than, obviously, a, a very good basketball team on Wednesday night. Well, I think you're going to have a team that's very athletic. Um, they're very well coached. They'll do all the little things right. They play hard. They've proven they can do it. They've won the national championship. They've got a lot of good pieces back. They've added some good pieces, and they have an excellent coaching staff. So you add all those things up, and um, they're number one in the nation at our level for a reason. Um, they're good, and it should be fun. How nice is it knowing, though, that you do have depth? I mean, you have more depth playing against a Rock Valley team, a good Rock Valley team, than you probably had in, in quite a few seasons to, to really give them, I mean, e even if, on paper or even at the end of the game, if you guys don't win, I, I would imagine it's going to be a very good, very tightly contested ball game for the, the majority. So how nice is it just knowing that you've got several different weapons, several different pieces going into a matchup like that? Well, I think it always gives you some options. You know, if somebody gets into foul trouble or somebody's not playing well, it gives you some options to do some different things. And I'm pretty sure they go 10 or 11 deep. You know, so I think it should be a really good matchup. If we come to play and play like we're capable of, I know what we're going to get from them. Um, they're good, but um, it's why you work so hard. It's, it's why we've, we've done what we've done, um, to get into our conference and get into games like this. Um, our conference is loaded. Everybody is pretty good, um, and they're at the top. You know, so... Um, it should be easy for our guys to get motivated. We have a lot of stuff to clean up, um, and we've got to get better at some stuff tomorrow um, for Wednesday's game. But I think our guys are excited knowing that, that Rock Valley is a very good basketball team and to kind of see where we're at. Yeah, I mean, gauging them and engaging their mood. Obviously, you take it one game at a time, mm -hmm. and as a coach, you preach one game at a time. Don't overlook an opponent. But now that they are the next opponent on the schedule, Gauging their attitude, do you, you get the sense that they are excited for the possibility to potentially make a statement here? Oh, I think um, I get the sense that they're very excited to play this game. Um, you know, like I said, they're the defending national champions. They've done it. They've proven it. And it gives us an opportunity to go compete and see where we're at. So, um, like I said, it, it should be a great opportunity to compete and and hopefully we'll have some fun doing it, and we'll play hard, and they'll play hard, and it's going to boil down to who makes more plays.